Hello, my name is Jürgen Varkus and I am a product specialist for identification systems at Pepperl and Fuchs. Today I'd like to show you which parameters you can set during the setup of the F190 read write head. For this, I prepared a test arrangement where you can see the F190 connected to the laptop via an ident control with serial interface. To configure the necessary settings, we use our software RFID control. The approved frequency range as well as the range and the number of transmitting channels for UHF systems vary from country to country. That's why you are asked to select the country of use when using the F190 for the first time. Once you made the country choice, it remains saved for future use. Now you can start with setting the required parameters. For this, simply click the button next to the F190 symbol and the window with the available parameters shows up. The most important parameter is the transmission power. With this setting, you determine the maximum read and write range which should be reached for a huge F tag in application. 50 mW is set by default. We change this to 100 mW, half of the maximum transmission power for this unit. The principle is that the higher the transmission power, the higher the range. But in certain areas, a transmission power set too high can lead to malfunction during tag identification due to unwanted reflections of radio waves. So keep in mind, sometimes less is more. The F190 additionally offers the option of setting up to 10 different transmission power levels. With this mode, the active command is run with all settings successively. After that, you set your required polarization. Most UHF tags have a specific polarization level, horizontal or vertical, which has to match with the one set for the read-write head. If you set circular polarization here, tags will be identified independent of tag orientation. As customary UHF tags have four different internal memory banks, it is necessary to determine the memory area which should be accessed by the commands read data and write data. Choosing the user memory bank, it is the simplest way as it is not subject to specific formatting. Finally, you can choose between single and multi-frame mode. With this setting, you can determine either single tag or multi-tag identification. In our test arrangement, we want to identify several tags in the same time, so we select multi-frame here. With OK, you confirm your settings and submit them to the F190 where they are stored non-volatile. Now we start the read command. By clicking the button read data, the set number of bytes is read in the memory area beginning at the set start address. Since the single mode is active, every tag is identified only once. As you can see, the F190 is reading and the tags are listed in the data window. In case of technically sophisticated installations, you can make further optimizations by setting further parameters. In general, we recommend keeping the default settings first. More detailed instructions as well as useful hints can be found in the user manual. Also visit our website for more information. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Thanks for watching.